to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about these lab machines that you see behind me. So all of these machines provide us with vital information about your pet and how they are functioning internally. Without these machines, we would not be able to practice veterinary medicine very well. <laughs> so I am constantly back here running blood samples through all of these machines on a daily basis. They are a very important part of my job, so we're gonna talk about why. If you're new to my channel, what's up? All of my social media is linked down below if you wanna check any of that out, but let's go ahead and get started. So we have six machines here total that run specialized tests on your pet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna run blood work in four different situations if there is a sick or an emergency situation, if we are monitoring a medication, if we're doing pre-anesthetic blood work or testing before a surgical procedure, or if we're running a preventative care screen. Those are the four situations. So pets can't tell you how they're feeling. It's usually how they look or they act that lets you know that they aren't feeling well. So we can only tell so much about your pet when we do a physical exam on them to get a complete well-rounded picture of your pet's overall health blood work is required to do. I personally do lab work on my dog and my cat once a year, every year. I have since they were about a year old and uh, they're about six years old now. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves is when I am trying to convince an owner to do lab work and they look at him and they say, oh, uh, well he looks healthy enough to me. No, you cannot look at your pet and know that they are healthy internally. I found all sorts of issues on my pet's lab work when I thought they were healthy looking that if I wouldn't have caught at such an early stage would be a severe issue for my dog and my cat now. So I am a big, big, big believer when it comes to preventative blood work care on your pets. So we're gonna start with this machine right here. This is our pro site. This is gonna run a complete blood count or CBC for short. It is literally super easy to use. A CBC is used to screen for anemia, which is low red blood cells, inflammation, infection, stress, leukemia, bleeding problems, the inability to fight infection, and also your pet's hydration status. Once the machine is done analyzing the sample, it shoots out these results, and then it does give us a low and a high end. So all of that in black is normal, and the ones in red are high. So these two machines are actually the same. They are our chemistry analyzers. This machine is our catalyst. It's gonna check the liver, the kidneys, it checks the electrolytes as well. So this machine is gonna let me know if there's any early signs of renal disease, renal failure, infections, kidney stones, cancer, abnormalities resulting from long-term medications. And then also for the liver, the same thing. So liver disease, Cushing syndrome, certain cancers, dehydration, obstruction of the bile ducts or abnormalities resulting in long-term medications. Just like before, when the machine is done analyzing the sample, it's gonna shoot me out the results. Same thing, everything in black is normal, so this patient looks good. So this little machine right here just runs a bunch of our specialized tests, like testing the thyroid, the pancreas. Also in felines, it runs a test called a ProBNP. It lets us know how your cat's heart is functioning, which is really cool. Don't ask me why they haven't made one in dogs yet. I don't know. So when running a urinalysis, we're gonna do three different tests. We're gonna run the actual urinalysis strip. We have a fancy machine that reads it for us, or if you don't have this machine, you get the strip and you compare it on the bottle. So when you place a drop of urine on these little squares, they're gonna change a different color, and then you match that color over here to your answer key to let you know exactly what the pH is, if there's blood in the urine, things like that. So a urinalysis, even though it's not a blood test, is essential for a comprehensive evaluation of the kidney functions. A urinalysis includes the physical, chemical, and microscopic evaluation of your pet's urine. This evaluation provides additional information about the kidney and the liver, as well as the general well-being of your pet. I'm gonna take that urine sample and I'm gonna let the computer know how I collected the urine, if it was a free catch or or a cystocentesis, the color of the urine, and if it's clear, if it's cloudy, if it's very cloudy. And then I'm also gonna enter the specific gravity that I got earlier. 
So what we used to do is we would collect your pet's urine and put it in one of these little vials. Now I would put this in the centrifuge and it's gonna spin it super fast so that the liquid portion of your pet's urine is at the top and what we call the sediment is at the bottom. So what a urine sediment is, is going to be the bacteria, if there's any crystals, the red blood cells, the white blood cells. If there is any in your pet's urine, it's gonna shoot it down to the bottom. So then we take that bottom sediment and we look at it under the microscope but this machine does all of that for me. So all I do is put urine in it, it spins it down, it looks at it, and then it shoots it to the computer and also it takes pictures of the urine so I can see what exactly is in it. It will identify any abnormalities in the urine, which is crazy. Basically, robots are trying to take over my job. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was very helpful for you guys to understand exactly why we want to run blood work on your pet when you go to the vet. If you liked this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!